Hello, my name is Laura Diaz, and I will be discussing some topics that we talked about in class in our American Family Changes and Diversity. Um, the first topic that I will be discussing is gender roles. How do we know how to behave within our gender roles? How do we know what is appropriate and acceptable for boys and girls, men and women? According to Risman and Seal in their research, Betwixt and Between, Gender Contradictions in Middle Schoolers, through interviewing middle school children, they found that girls were able to and also encouraged to cross gender boundaries. However, boys were not given the same opportunity. In fact, boys are ridiculed and forced back into their stereotypical manly roles. How should we change this perspective in our society and move towards males being allowed to do the same thing as women? Since we are trained to think and act a certain way from a very young age, is it possible to engrave a new way of thinking so that both genders can feel free to act in any way regardless of their gender? Part of growing up, children experience hardships from bullying and not fitting in. Oftentimes they are ridiculed and taught to stick with, with what their gender roles are. For example, if boys act too feminine or want to play with Barbies, they are ridiculed and taunted. Remarks such as gay and fag are used and have a negative connotation, yet many adolescents don't even realize what the true meaning behind these words are. How could these homophobic thoughts be viewed in a more positive light in terms of educating our youth so they can understand how they can lead to stereotypical gender roles? The media plays such an important role in our lives. So what can we do to actively change the way that our society portrays how homophobia is accepted? During the time of the Great Depression, men were the breadwinners and the women were the caretakers of the family. We began to see a change during the World War II era and the baby boomer generation, when women had to go into the workforce and take care of their families while their husbands were off at war. We have come a long way since then, and now we have families who are more egalitarian. We see the drastic change in gender roles with stay-at-home dads and moms being the breadwinners. Our society now has more equal gender roles, and as a result, this has led to acceptance of diversity within families. The next topic I will be talking about is diversity within families. The traditional family consists of a father, a mother, and their children, but there has been various changes within the family makeup. We now see single-parent households, households run by grandparents, same-sex couples, interracial couples, and cohabiting couples. How long before the traditional family structure of a, mother, of a mother and father with children is no longer the norm? As a society, the, the older generations are working on accepting and learning how to address these diverse families. How, so how do, we all, how do we use all of these changes and views to teach the younger generations about acceptance and tolerance? Since there has been diversity within families, then there there has also been a shift in the way parenting is done. According to Coleman in Parenting Adult Children in the 21st Century, in the past, once kids moved out of their home, they were thrown in the, into the real world and were able to start their own lives independently. Now parents are more involved in their children's lives and feel responsible for their success as adults before they're comfortable of letting their children move out. When my generation becomes parents, Will we be as involved or more involved in our children's lives? For my generation, how are we going to prepare our kids to be independent and successful? Will we feel as responsible as the 21st century parents to make sure our kids are successful? Or will we, or will we let them be independent and make their own mistakes and learn from them? The last topic I will be discussing is gay marriage. The topic of gay marriage is a very controversial topic currently. As a society, we have come a long way to accept same-sex marriage. For example, many states have passed laws to allow same-sex marriages. So will there ever be a point where every state in the United States allows gay marriage? According to Monday in the article, The Gay Guide to Wedded Bliss concluded that same-sex couples are happier than straight couples because they are more egalitarian and do not have to worry about fulfilling their gender roles. 
Instead, they focus on what each person, each person is better at and what their talents are. How could heterosexual couples learn from gay couples to live a happier relationship and have less conflict? Will gay marriage ever be a primary example of what a successful and happy relationship would be like?